All right, everybody, we are going to give everyone a few minutes to get the notification and we will get started. It is a magical morning to be alive. Um, it is stupid early. It's 7 a.m. here. So I have got a coffee and it looks like I'm going to be the only one because I'm not about to wake CJ up right now. We're going to let him sleep for a minute. He has been a trooper through this whole weekend. Um... We're going to be starting with Silvio 2. After that, we're playing through Until Dawn, which I believe is going to be with Thomas. So M Thomas might jump in to chat. I'm not sure he knows to jump into chat. But we will see. And while we're at it, I should probably open up Discord. Otherwise, nobody will be jumping into chat. <laughs> Yep, I am the only one. And let me check levels and make sure. I guess if somebody could uh, just drop a line into the chat room and say hello if you can hear me and I sound loud enough. All right, everyone should have the notification now, so we will get started in just a moment. Sorry that when you tab out of Silvio, the music isn't up, so I know it's really quiet and, like, alarmingly quiet right now. Um, I am just popping into a couple of social media sites to post for anyone who does not get our Twitch notifications. If you don't, you should sign up to get them. Um, I imagine the five of you that are here right now definitely get the notifications or you wouldn't be here. It is about 7.30 where I'm at, so I'm not going to wake CJ up right now. It'll be about 8.30 where he's at. He's probably got a coffee going, but we're going to leave him alone. And we're going to take me off of Push to Talk so that I can chat with everyone in Discord as people wake up and, you know, shamble their zombie selves in for day three. We will hear them join into the chat the rest of you, though, can chat with us via the sidebar. I don't think we have any special guests coming for Silvio, too. We tried, but the timing, I'm not sure if anyone knows, but Silvio, too, is a single project, or a single developer project made by Nicholas Swanberg. He is a really cool developer. He's really nice. If you like his games, you should reach out and talk to him because he loves to hear from his fans. But he's also in Sweden and has a full-time job, so you will probably get overnight responses if you're in the United States. Change to voice activity, and we are good to go. And I think we're going to go ahead and get started, despite the fact that there's like five of us and none of them. So I will kill the starting screen so you guys don't have to look at it anymore. Hi, this is me. It, like I said, at 7.30, this is crazy. We'll start with a new game. We 
have played Silvio before on the stream. If anyone is interested, I'm pretty sure we also uploaded the videos of that to the YouTube channel. Um, so Where if am you I? watch this and decide you don't actually want to play the games and would rather just watch through and figure out what the hell's going on, Silvio 1 is available on YouTube for you to check out later. I wonder how long I've been out. So if you played Sylvia 1 and you remember going through the underground tunnels at the very end, this is the other side of the window. And if you kind of get off to the side and look down, you can see into the bottom down here. You can kind of see the pipes through there. So you're picking up literally where you left off in that game. This door has been barred. The smell of wet dirt is really heavy. Nauseating. I do have Twitch up so I can keep an eye on the stream and see all of your lovely comments. Cozy sleeping arrangements. Doesn't seem to be used though. It's beyond cozy. I wonder how far down it goes. Maybe there's some kind of underground river. This is how you deal with sound in Silvio 2. There will be sounds for us to find, and they will not always be that easy. But the other thing that they added was video. Which will also not always be that easy. But you have to do the tutorials on the floor. The house seems to be completely buried beneath the earth. Well, well. 
combination on it. I should try it on the locked door. That's a strange kind of soil, completely black, almost looks burnt, like charcoal or lava. It's also shiny. That was our statue for this particular area. There are statues to collect throughout this game. If you collect them all, there is a achievement for that. There are also some um, items to find around the game. I have not completed the last kind of little side quest, but I'm almost to 100% achievements on this one. I will be writing a guide eventually, but I have spent a week pixel hunting this entire game, trying to find the last little item I can't. My luck, it's going to be something like in uh, Calendula, where it's in the menu, hidden. Little loading screens are all the different statues. And while it's not bad right now, later on in the game we will have to go through the settings menu a couple of times just to change the uh, way the whole thing looks. And I'm going to pull all of my notes down real quick because I actually have this entire game on sticky notes. Having played through the whole thing many, many times. Which is funny because I didn't review this one. I believe that was on. Hello, Captain Walter. Hey, what is the long name? What is your position? Over. I'm so sorry, I don't know. I've managed to escape a kidnapping, and I need to get home. Over. Jonathan is here? Okay. Do you know where I can find him? Over. C Captain Walter. Captain Walter. Okay then. I'll borrow the boat, find Jonathan, and head for Lighthouse Isle. 
Shouldn't be too hard to spot. Now, let's see if I can get this computer started. It's a seance, not statue. Key at one three five oh one. If anyone's wondering how I got all of these, it's because I went to all of them. Every single one. I do wonder where they've hidden that like last little piece that I can't find.
sure anybody who is watching this can tell that what I did was I went to all the islands in a zigzag motion. The first time I played this game, I had it on, and my husband comes in, and he looks at that and goes, Is that amount of dog shit? To which I, of course, responded, Yes, yes, I am, in fact, playing the game about dog shit. That is definitely what's happening here.
There are achievements for finding each one of those bodies that has keys on them. I have all of those achievements. You will not be seeing any achievements pop up today. So, first thing we're doing is going to Janet 104.2, which is starting with this. I believe she's on the island. to the five of you watching um six viewers one of them is me so that i can see your comments uh if you want to say hello that would be nice it is eight o'clock so i'm going to take this opportunity to do what my little bot has decided not to do and go ahead and tell you guys again this is a rely on words jesus this is our 2017 Rely on Horror charity stream benefiting Ch Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, specifically Maria Ferreri Hospital in New York City. Um, we are accepting donations at extralife.relyonhorror.com. This is our final day of the charity stream. I believe we're going to leave it open until November the 4th, which is like game day for Extra Life, and it's going to be the last day that they allow donations. Um, so if you can't donate right now, but you will be able to later, please keep that in mind. Maybe make a reminder of notes. If you can donate today, we would absolutely love to reach $1,000 by the end of the day. Um, not really sure what we're at right now, and I can't check it because I've only got the one phone. And the one screen. My other screen died. So, if you remember, I did mention that there are items you can find around that go with that weird poem. This is one of them. We picked up a wallet. Do I know what the wallet does? Hell no, I don't know what the wallet does because I can't find the last item. But I have a wallet. And finding something you don't know how to use is the first time, right? Are you here? Jonathan, are you here in this underground house that I just found the key to unlock? Are you? We are believers. As you can see, the entire house is like completely encased in this black substance. Though there are gaps in it, so every now and then we'll find like a patio we can go out on. We can't go outside yet because we can't open the door. This is another padlock door. Thank you. 
So if that I can't get out, we're safe here. Stay inside and pull the doors. CJ is up and will be joining us very soon. Hooray. So if you've noticed on this area, there's a blank piece of paper with every new house that we visit. And as we get more clues hidden around in the voices in the videos, um, a painting shows up to kind of say what the hell happened in that particular house. So that's the painting from the first one. We've got somebody pushing somebody over a cliff, it looks like. Ruth, are you there? I 
got somebody lying on the bed. Giving this combination to the lock with her fingers. I think she might have signed me the combination to the lock. Why did they lock you up? Ruth is in the bedroom. Do you want me to tell her something? something has happened to like encase the entire house in lava and the other people in the house go I don't know who you are so we're locking you in the bedroom place we are going, I have them written down because of course I do. in there. 
There seems to be nothing left in this house, so we can go. <laughs> I like that one. It looks like a seahorse. I mean, it looks like a real horse, too. Just a horse in general. But the face, the face is so seahorsey. Come on. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background because it's in another room, but I can just vaguely hear with my mommy senses, which are close to spidey senses. My five-year-old is singing to her to the start. Anytime he even like starts to buzz, she goes and sings to him. And it's super cute because she can't sing it. She doesn't know the words, so it's just twinkle, twinkle, you're a star. Over and over and over. Can you hear me, Captain Walter? <laughs> over. I still haven't found Jonathan, but I have some coordinates. I think they might lead me to him. I'll try to hurry up. Over. All right, give me two seconds to set something up and we'll be bringing CJ in. So we can alt tab out of this and... Ha. Huh. That should be it. Nope. That wasn't what I meant to do at all. Good lord. Well, I'm bad at this. There we go. Now we can go back to playing. I love you. No, today's not Halloween and mommy's busy, but uh, can you go play for a little bit? Daddy's going to take you to the zoo in a minute. Sorry about that. It comes with mommy. Alright, so after Janet, we need to go to the apartment. No? No, we did Janet and the apartment. So we're going to the hotel. 
I'm gonna go to the creepy apartment. I hate this one. now and then and it's always like oh god why this is the shit nightmares are made of so we're in an apartment with like what would be cool galaxy wallpaper if it weren't peeling off Jonathan are you down here interesting choice of wallpaper I mean the wallpaper is cool I would put it in my teenager I'm pretty sure by the time my kids are teenagers, it's gonna be like way cooler things you can do with walls. She also laid is she sick? Where is she? Drugs. I wonder who he's talking about. Antidepressants for Elaine Sparks. Elaine, are you there? Hello. Hi. Good morning. I was not gonna wake up this morning. <laughs> Thank you. Got enough sleep, and I think it's also really dark outside, so I didn't wake up usually early. Yeah, they got down a lot. Last night. Let's see here. I saw that we got up to 400. Hey, you're coming here. Kitchen roof hatch. Is someone up there? And I can hear noises. Are no clues. Did you ever. No, you didn't. No, not yet. There's a hatch in the kitchen roof. Oh, good. You got the you got the bar working. Awesome. Yeah. So I was saying, this apartment room creeps me the fuck out. Like, not the room itself, uh, the apartment in general. 
because of what's going on in it. Looks like we have galaxy wallpaper. And they do have galaxy wallpaper. Gaudy. But we've got messages like through the sofa and kitchen roof hatch, oh. so... They probably deserve having a haunted house. It's not haunted, that would be great. <laughs> So good morning, chat. Probably afternoon for most people here. I think uh, most of our viewers were uh, in Europe. Hey, I see you. Oh, someone new, Voodoo. Probably still there. Astro. Yeah, let's share the stream. Share it up. Share like, it on can you social. See who our viewers are, or? Yeah, if you click the uh, little gear at the bottom. I'm using the. There's a hole in the wall. Uh, there's a hole in the wall, and there's a ladder in the hole, CJ. <laughs> and look, the attic is furnished. <laughs> because of course it is. I, I was just so creepy. This is like in my top 10 list of nightmares, is somebody's living in your attic in your house. <laughs> no. And what's worse is you like, every now and then that hits the news where there was like somebody living in someone's attic in their house. I have seen, I have seen those reports. It's like, oh, where's my food been going? Oh my god, this is a, this is a false wall? Who's in the room, Bruce? <laughs> Who's in the room, Bruce? Spoilers for the movie The Boys. That's the entire movie. <laughs> the puppet's not actually possessed. Hide her. So we got a statue, and then our next little item that we can pick up in the list of five that I can only find four of is a box of matches. Who's in the room, Bruce? Yeah. The only thing I could recommend from the stream is that it seems like the game audio is a little louder than us. That's all. It's got that ambiance. Also, I finished all those cookies. <laughs> awesome. Yep. That all count. She asked for it because that's what it is. Oh boy. Maybe a little. Maybe a little. Our midnight to 2 a.m. Evil with Finchie did really well. We raised over $200 just from that one alone. I fell asleep awesome. like, on my couch watching it. Actually. <laughs> I did he see, that like, the really second fast. $100, um, donation, so, like, I, it was right after that, I must have just, like, checked out. <laughs> so, for those of you who cannot read this, it's, I swear she asked for it, maybe a little, I never opened it, and she's in my house. Oh. Yeah, like, everything about this is just, ugh. Ugh. No. No, Bruce. No means no, Bruce. Bad. Very bad, Bruce. Roof hatches looking over people's beds. Gloria, are you there? Which, um, I guess, I think you call it crawling. URL crawling is when the page shows a preview of what the content is. It still says we're playing The Suffering, because that's how Twitch works. Uh, I just, just caching, I guess. 
no, 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 not on Twitch itself. It's just the uh, when we share our link, it still says the suffering in the preview for some reason. <laughs> up for those watching and have not yet donated please consider donating at least five dollars to our extra life campaign you can go to extra life dot rely on horror dot com to donate or you can just click the little uh, image right below the video player it will be super appreciated it's going to benefit uh, children who are hospitalized across the uh, country that's what extra life does in particular we are focusing today on uh, Maria Freire's children's hospital in upstate New York it only took us two years to start pronouncing that right yeah. <laughs> Ferrari. I'm pretty sure we said Guy Fieri if you said last year. <laughs> Ferrari Roche. <laughs> Ferrari <laughs> Roche Hospital. We're bad. We're bad at this. We can get them some Ferrari Roche candies with our donations, though. Okay, so we've got no more time. Yeah, um, at least this stream taught us um, we can get our widget game up. The widgets are really streamlined now. The only one, the goal one kind of freaks out by itself after. Yeah, that's the only problem. The, the, the chat one's pretty good. There's uh, the donation one I set up. Uh, that one also is linked to the Patreon. So when someone pledges, that also gets an alert on Twitch. They happen to be watching or streaming at the same time. Hmm. Yeah. So this one is, why am I here, Bruce? Bruce seems like a terrible person. <laughs> this apartment is just... Uh... And I still have giveaway keys, so I'm going to add that to the stream. If you guys uh, want to enter any giveaways, simply just start chatting in the chat box there. And you'll be given the opportunity to potentially win a random horror game Steam key. Next weekend, the Witcher 3 coloring book should ship. I got an email notification, so we can do our Witcher 3 game. Yeah. Let me go downstairs, Bruce. Like, this, everything about this apartment is both creepy and fucking heartbreaking. We're done. We're getting the fuck out of here. Bye, Bruce. Oh, good. The price for the Twin Peaks Blu-ray went down. <laughs> what? Oh, oh the, on the Twin Peaks Blu-ray. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you said One Piece Blu-ray, and I'm like, oh no, I'm not buying one. Buy them broken and just super glue that shit back together. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? So Torrid is a. Uh, it, it's a big girl shop, basically. It uh, carries sizes, women's sizes 10 and up in the United States. Mm. Um, and I just happened to click over. They were like, all of our Halloween outfits are on clearance, and they have a Twin Peaks waitress dress. Ooh. I was like, I would not have expected that. Like, they've got all the usual kind of costumey things, but they also do a lot of, like, pop culture stuff. They have an entire line dedicated to Outlander because it's so popular. They've got Harry Potter dresses. They do a lot of Disney collaborations. But I was really not expecting to see, like, the Twin Peaks light blue waitressing dress. And I almost got it, and then I was like, I really have nowhere to wear this, and I'm never going to, and I should not spend $80 on this dress. <laughs> Captain Walter. Yeah, the Which merchandising this uh, this year is pretty I'm strong. New season Over. has put a lot of stuff online. And they had a pop up shop in uh, Los Angeles, yes, I and know. I was really sad that they did not bring one to New York. It won't be long. Yep, they will. Wanted... Wait for us. Yeah, but I guess they want to just focus on the West Coast, where most of the actors can just like drive a bit and get there. Yeah. Well, I was a little sad because I did want to go. I definitely wanted a check that out they had people from the show they had Rebecca Del Rio who did the music um who did some of the music she did that one track uh, No Stars she was also in um Holland Drive okay 
would have been really nice. I think Mark Frost was there too, and I would have loved to have got my uh, Twin Peaks dossier signed. The new season, the lore is just amazing, and he's responsible for most of that. He doesn't get enough credit for the overall uh, mythos of the show. Has anyone on the team watched the new Stranger Things yet? I don't think anyone has. Uh, probably... Um, actually, I'm not sure. I think Whitney I have, did. She she posted on Facebook that she did watch it and uh, finished it. Yeah, she said she loved it. By Whitney, a new computer. <laughs> oh, her, her new computer came. Oh, good. Yay. Or it's coming. It's been shipped. So, um, I'm not going to give away why and what this is, but I was Looks like telling a... the viewers earlier that the first time I was playing this... Sean walked in the room and he looks at it and he goes, are you playing a game in which you're delving into piles of dog shit? <laughs> I was like, yeah, is it honey, like a... absolutely. It's lava, basically. Oh, uh, yeah, I was, yeah, I was thinking, like, yeah. It's touched the sea, it's become super hard. Yeah. yeah, but you can see also that it's got, like, these weird entrances built in and kind of swirls it's around. A little, a, little, a little poop spirally. Yeah, it's, um, it, there's a little bit of intelligence to it. You know, when an elder god needs to let one go, you just you find <laughs> it around the feet. Poops on people's houses. <laughs> so this is actually, uh, we are still in Saginaw Park. It is just underwater now. For reasons currently unknown to us. I know, but y'all don't. Dear Beston... And again, I will mention that Nicholas, the developer for this game, is a solo developer. He is located in Sweden, so we get interesting things like this. This looks like a ballroom. Ooh. I think I hear something. I think it's so fun to see different is European that you? languages. I feel like we don't have enough games that are European based. Like nowhere in Europe. Room number three. Are you talking to your piggy? What the hell? I was reading the musk and ball. Jonathan. I saw are that you sign. There? Ah. There's a party! Pug party. Pug party! That would be the best. <laughs> There's a really fun video of Pug Party where the owner's like, Pug party! And the dog's like, Aah! Stop! Yeah. He does not the, like uh, it. Developers of Night in the Woods. I'm not sure. I, I met them at Pack South. Um, but Beth. Has been posting on Twitter. They've got two pugs that are rather old. Like they're just aging pugs, and she has to run like IV fluids on them every day. And it's super sad. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like they're super lovey puppies, and they're just kind of having to face that this. Not the window. This must have been the main entrance. Oh. I saw a uh, post of a 15-year-old Frenchie the other day, so I'm going to hold out hope. <laughs> like, this little guy is super cool. I guess he'll pop up on your feed in about two seconds, but... I really like the uh, decorations for this party. <laughs> Let's see. If anyone's in the chat, say hello. That's how you're going to become eligible, eligible for a giveaway. We need the chat to be active. The active members will be put into a lottery for a free Steam key. Oh, look, we got to 405. Thank you. Yay, thank you. Let's see if I can get your, um, your listing up here so I can thank you by your name. Oh, let me read your first name just in case you don't want to... That kind of shout out. 
Let's see. Uh, it's a username. Thank you, Dango. Okay. So our clues there were uh, Bessie strong vocal cords, and or I've always wanted to see Bessie strong vocal cords. And yeah. anyway, it's about a singer who is singing at this super duper cool party for cool kids. We've also had one that was why is she here? So <laughs> really? Obviously, <laughs> yeah, this is like super. Cool. Oh my I, god. I actually really like the hotel. Um, and we're gonna go this mean girls the thing. So we used a staff room key. We're gonna pick up this statue, and the next item on our list of items is an ashtray. Nick like said this might help you if you decide to play the game and you like need to find most of the items, but I can't tell you where the fifth one is because I don't know. Oh. I have pixel hunted this game for weeks, and I do not know where the next item is. That's really aggravating, too. There are very few things more aggravating than knowing that you've crawled through every inch of a game and can't find. Well, hello there. I feel like this is a very large paper mache statue. <laughs> Clever discoveries. Oh, look at that. Uh-huh. We have no names yet, so we've still got to go like find these clues and figure out a name somewhere. So you have to find names to figure out who. You have to find who. all the clues, and eventually you'll have enough clues to start asking questions, and uh, then you can communicate with someone. If uh, you don't have okay. clues, you, like, you just kind of have to keep going until you get Alright. Uh, let me, let me <laughs> Why isn't she coming? She's a stuck up little pig. <laughs> Alright, uh, we have Angela in the reception room, so we can go to the reception desk. <laughs> Angela, are you there? Hey, we have 405, awesome. So, uh, let's see, our next short term goal. Think about it. Oh, the page is like navigating, so looks a little tricky. Okay, so our next short term goal. Let's try to reach 425. If anyone, if any viewers have not yet donated, please consider donating at least four, uh, at least five bucks to get, help us get toward our next short-term goal, which is 425. This is going to benefit uh, sick children in the Extra Life Network. We're focusing today on Maria Freire's Children's Hospital in Upstate New York. It'd be nice to get them a couple of hundred bucks for Halloween, which will also help for the Christmas holiday. So our next clues are she's in number five and it's Corinne's party. Corinne? Corinne. I feel like these are all references. This is like a Mean Girls party. It is definitely a Mean Girls party. It gets meaner as we go. <laughs> it's like, Becky, what are you doing here? And then they just start stabbing each other and that's where the ghosts come from. Corinne. Or just the movie are you there? Nicholas actually, um, I, I believe he started in music, so he does all of the music and sound too. Himself. Which I really like. 
you're gonna stop wait for five minutes to get my coffee. So we've got in the cigar room, this is my party. He saw my sister, and why is she here? <laughs> so the problem is it's two sisters that don't like each other. Like, they can't even hold it together in public. Angela, how do I get into the cigar room? There are many guests, and he has the keys. Anything we need to go to those people, so we have to go see Chef Albert. Chef Albert, are you there? I told you that uh, Sean's taking Maria to boo at the zoo today. Oh, really? You missed her, like, right before you came on. She uh, popped into the frame, and <laughs> she came in the room. She's, like, all dressed up in her Halloween outfit, and she has her little dinosaur all dressed up. So they're dressed as witches to go to the zoo. Does the zoo have, like, a... Is she just dressing up, or is there, like, a Halloween well, thing a, going on there? Like, it's a non-scary daytime trick-or-treating event for the kids. Oh, okay. And she'll go, like, trick-or-treating around the neighborhood, but there's a lot of older people in our neighborhood. We do get, like, a ton of kids from the apartments down the street because they don't allow trick-or-treating. So they come into the neighborhood and trick-or-treat, but there are some, like, older people who can't really answer the door. So she'll go around our neighborhood, but it's also a really big neighborhood. So it just mm. makes more sense to take her somewhere where she's going to have fun. And then, like, they'll hit a couple of houses on Halloween. Yeah. Oh wow, Stranger Things has a 94% on Rotten Tomatoes. That is very impressive. Oh, hello, Dango. Oh, you finally got your login. Yes, I appreciate your donation. I'm uh, glad you could join us in the chat. I am not seeing anybody in the chat. <laughs> uh, it just popped in. Maybe you have to refresh it. Maybe. I have it up so I can like keep an eye on it. Yeah, the chat has... Yeah, the chat was empty until now. Okay. Uh, so we've got looks at the jacket. Where are the keys? I need a smoke. So we're gonna go get the keys out of the jacket. Chef Albert has the keys, because when he needs a smoke, he goes to the cigar room. Okay. Oh, so many, so many Discord noobs on, on the site. Like, how does this work? Everybody into a staff meeting one day and just be like, here's how the basics work. <laughs> we'll have to figure out how to get to the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> this is true because we have them on Discord. Okay, <laughs> uh, uh, Thomas is going to join us. McScotchy. That's what he named the alcohol in the game, is McScotchy. <laughs> <laughs> Dango has asked for a quick brief about what the game's about so far. Goes 
down smooth. Okay, so there is Silvio 1, which is an entirely separate and much longer game. And in that one, you are introduced as Juliet, who is a reporter, but she's also a uh, paranormal investigator. So she's in an old North American park. I believe she's in, like, Oregon or Washington State. So seriously northeast, almost on the border of Canada. And it turns out that it was a previously Native American site and is cursed by an evil spirit, not being helped by the fact that there's also an evil man kind of screwing shit up for everybody. Um, that game ends with a pretty big revelation, and this game picks up right where that one ends, so we are still investigating paranormal stuff, but instead of it being in the fairly distant past, we're now investigating things that are relatively recent, somewhat present. Um, trying to find her boyfriend who, when she didn't come home, went looking for her. So he came over to the United States and went looking for her, and they are still in Saginaw Park, but there have been some serious changes. It's now underwater. All of the buildings are encased in this lava for whatever reason, and that doesn't come together until the very end. I'm not going to spoil the ending, uh -huh. but... Basically, we are asking ghosts for clues so that we can figure out what's going on, because when everything's flooded and you wake up from a kidnapping, you should probably investigate the paranormal stuff before finding your boyfriend and leaving. <laughs> so we don't have a question for Angela, we don't have a name for the front. I do like that in this one, instead of just randomly running around, you do, like, it gives you these dots that you can see through the walls so you go looking. It also got rid of the combat system. Um, I wasn't very happy with that until I played through, all the way through the first time and realized that that makes sense for what this game is trying to do. So, for Silvio 2, it doesn't need combat, because that's not what it's trying to tell us about. So how different is it from the first game? Completely. Okay. It is a completely different game, um, which is interesting. I don't have a name for you. I can't get out there. I mean, I'm pretty sure that I'm sort of in this room. That one's outside, we can't go to the door just yet. That one's the one we don't have a name, that one's Angela and we don't have a question. Ooh. I'm going to recast this to Facebook shortly. Okay. Oh, we have 13 viewers. Hello, viewers. Hi, people. Say hello in the chat. Hello in the chat. Haha. -ha. <laughs> We're going to hook you guys up with some horror game keys as uh, the chat gets more lively. Really, they're all like those teenage girls that you find on my Sweet Sixteen. Yeah. I didn't want that car. Yeah. And then they just killed. They really are. So it's like, did I miss? I'm glad that show is gone. I think it is. <laughs> what an awful thing. Right. We cleared that one. We cleared that one. We cleared that one. We cleared that one. Ah, we've missed one. Ooh. Facebook desperately needs the settings to just keep the stream key. Okay. I should try to find this friend. There we go. 
I was wondering, I'm like, I know I've got all the clues up until now because I've played this game so many times. Friends, <laughs> are you there? All right, we're currently at 4.05. Can we reach 4.25 in the next 30 minutes? If you guys are watching and have not yet donated, please consider doing so so we can get closer to our goals to deliver some funds to Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals during our Extra Life campaign. If you're not watching on Twitch and the link is not below, simply go to extralife.relyonhorror.com and you'll find our page. So, here's... When I said Franz is a douche, this is Corinne's party. She's a freak. I don't care for her sister. Like, everybody in this thing is just a mean girl. <laughs> um, Dango asks if this game is jump scares or does it have more moody based What horror? is the name of Corinne's sister? Uh, this one I would put firmly in the realm of psychological. It is a really slow burn right up until the end. Because it doesn't have really any jump scares. It, like I said, the second one gets rid of the combat for the first one because it's trying to tell you kind of stories. But it has some really fucking creepy words. And it's just like, it, there's several, like the one with the guy that lives in the attic and keeps his mom locked up there while he's running out the lower level of the house. It has some, like, really just hair standing up on the body. Kind of Facebook set up. See, there's another name for you. Corinne's sister is Euphelia. That's her name. What was it? Euphelia. Oh. That's fancy. She's not invited. She shouldn't be here. I saw her in the garden. Get out of here. How dare you come to your sister's party? Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, we are live on Facebook now. Stream of a stream of a stream. that just showed up behind us. <laughs> yeah, they can't waste that. Well, I mean, it took one shot and look what happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I couldn't great. handle it. Don't accept <clears throat> drinks from strangers, everybody. Find me. This sea breeze was dangerous. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is an accurate description of what happens after your first Long Island ass, uh, iced tea. Yeah. <laughs> Long Island ass tea. Yeah. That is exactly <laughs> what it is. Time to go home. Yeah, Dango, they already made that line. She doesn't even go there. Or she doesn't belong here. Yeah. Get out of here. This is why nobody invites you to their parties, Euthelia. What did you do? <laughs> Euthelia is just wandering around, dropping acid in everybody's drinks. No, I haven't done yet. I have not yet shown off our new Twitch feature for the website. I should really do that. that I've not like posted about it. Dream. It's really neat. I am really proud of it. I'm glad we got that working. Nice little button. So yeah, we woke up outside in the garden that we don't have a key to. <laughs> And hello people on Facebook, we are streaming uh, Silvio 2. 
This is our first game on our final day of charity streaming. If you want to help support us, simply go to extralife.relyonhard.com. That is going straight to the Extra Life charity that supports um, children who are hospitalized. And we really want to give them a nice Halloween and also a nice holiday by sending some funds their way. It's fully tax, de tax deductible and it's a fully accredited uh, charity. Don't worry, it's not going straight to us, it's going directly to Extra Life. So our clues in this one are, does the whiskey taste strange to you? What brand is this? Oh boy. Don't worry, I like they, you need a whiskey. I like how they had time to write all this. Or just, are they speaking this? Is like, this is all, these are not, these yeah, not text is, notes, right? We're finding, it, it's in text over the thing, but we're finding these messages oh, right, right. in the uh, recordings that we're getting from the spirits. Okay, and so they're more like logs instead of them talking yeah. to you. Okay. Yeah, they're not super, uh, they, like, you can ask them questions and they can answer them, but they're not speaking to you so much uh, as at you. Okay. Chef Albert, why are you worried? Hello, Anshti. Yes, we reached $405. Um, I'm not sure how long you were around last night, but our Evil Thin 2 stream, despite having an extremely rocky start, was very, very successful. Uh, we cast that to Facebook as well, and we received two $100 donations, plus smaller donations. Really awesome. We made a lot of money last night. And we hope to reach at least $500 before the streaming event's over. And this is only our first game. After this one, we're going to Until Dawn. And if we finish super early, then we can probably put in some filler games like Doki Doki, Literature Club, and uh, some Friday 13th. I wouldn't mind streaming Doki Doki myself. It's, it's a silly one. I, I have not seen anything, anything on it. I've, I've avoided it because I want to go in fresh. Yeah, do. Definitely, like... Until you have a chance to play, leave it alone. <laughs> I like. I could. W I wish I can go in so fresh. I didn't know it gets fucked up because I feel like for me. Um, but if spoilers you know it gets fucked up, would you actually go into that game? If I heard, if someone recommended it to me heavily and said you don't, it's not what you expected, then I would say okay. I, I like. I, I can believe you. Fine. Because okay, uh, I guess I'll play it, I, especially since it's yeah. Game. Yeah, like I, um, I have no aversion to visual novels and. I would, I would jump in and be like, okay, let's check it out. Okay, so we've got Angela is upset, it's not my fault, and Albert doesn't drink. He will smoke all the cigars in the cigar room, but he does not drink, okay? <laughs> I, I mean, it's great that you don't drink, dude, but... I really want this, like, large paper mache squirrely thing. <laughs> Looks like something I would have wore as a baby. Is Raleigh still with us? I believe he's in the chat, but he has not um, written anything there. He might just be watching. I mean, if Raleigh's around, if he could maybe tell us what my live in means, because I can't look it up. Or if you want to, like, go through I've, that in I've seen that. I've seen that used often. I think it's just a common phrase. My lead bin is um, my life. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, it's, it's Wolfenstein as well. I think it's a common phrase. I think it's a common phrase when someone, like, dies or something. It's just, oh, my life. Like, it's, like, it's dramatic. No. My life. Yeah, I, I figured think. that, like, a straight translation wouldn't even be helpful because it's probably one of those things that it's a colloquialism. Yeah, yeah I'm just, I'm just, I've seen this phrase, of course. I think that's the context of it. Apparently, Wolfenstein is doing amazing as well. Like, it's just also really good. They made references to, like, oh, that dub for young white nationalist newspaper report a couple of months ago. I cannot wait to play that. Look forward to our transition to uh, a politics website in April. Yes. All politics all the time. You know we felt really? that we weren't reporting on the good news that was necessary. <laughs> Easter and April Fools are the same day this year. Oh, good. All right, so that's our next set of coordinates. But we are not done clearing this place, obviously, because there's like a million and one little dots. 
Angela, why are you upset? <coughs> it would be great if it would stop going from like 38 to 82 every day. It's almost like there's something wrong with the climate. <laughs> I got a cold there. Yeah, like it's every morning and it clears up once it warms up, but then and it, it's like that thing where you breathe in cold air and it just like hits the back of your throat. Too many count again. We've got Minnie, Stefan, Giles, and Marla. Can't breathe. Minnie, are you there? Notice, but I took screen caps of the new uh, site update where you can just expand the Twitch player, and in the corner of the charity stream, you're just like, ugh, I'm lost. <laughs> Stefan, are you there? finding all of these people in their rooms laying on the floor dying. Giles, are you there? She wasn't invited to Corinne's super cool party and dosed all the alcohol at the party and oh. killed everybody there. And what I learned from this is that obviously Euthelia shouldn't have been invited to the party. <laughs> like, this seems like a sound decision. interesting mystery now when you solve who made the drinks are they also dead or are we just gonna try to avenge these ghosts I don't know they're just like stuck here forever reliving oh. that last it's All just right. an echo oh. of what happened alright well, hopefully the guy who did it is uh not alive but then again I don't know if that's good or bad because he'd be stuck there with them too Maybe? Who knows? Yeah, no, your theory is stuck here with them. Dango says the game is creepy as hell, it's doing a good job, <laughs> and that they're not very good with horror despite loving it. That's good, I mean, if you if you love horror and it still affects you greatly, awesome. I, I wish it was still like that for me in most cases. Um, a lot of games don't really freak me out anymore. Be awesome if they were super effective still. And there are a 
lot of people who seem to really enjoy watching horror games as opposed to playing them, which is yeah. a completely g legitimate way to enjoy them. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. Like, there are some people who go, oh, if you just watch it, that's not really... I'm like, it's still enjoying it. Like, do you tell people who watch horror movies that they're not really enjoying it? Like, yeah, I mean, you're assuming a creepy story. Simple. So if you do play, the hotel has two... Um, they have achievements from Sylvia 1 that they carried over into Sylvia 2. Which are just for having found all of the messages. And it's a lot harder in Sylvia 1 because it doesn't have the dots to follow. In this one, if you didn't go around to all the islands first like we did when we started and get all the keys, you can't get all the messages, so you can't fully clear it. So it's got two different achievements in the hotel. Um, the first one is if you clear everything that's outside of the rooms, you'll get that one. And then the second one's when you come back through and you've got all the keys. And you can clear it fully. We're all going to die. Oh yeah, no, Euthelia didn't mean to doze herself. Unfortunately, whatever happened took her with it. So, so yeah, she got stuck in the end too. Mm. She meant to leave. And that is the hotel done. Everybody oh died. yeah, there you go. Everyone died. <laughs> Spoilers, the ghosts were dead. There you go. Captain Walter, you're still waiting for us, right? Over. Bad weather coming. We need to take shelter in the lighthouse. Over. The weather is fine over here. Uh, we'll just another reminder, if you are watching this stream, this over. is for charity. If you have not yet done so, please donate as little as $5 to our Extra Life campaign, which is going to benefit children who are hospitalized. You can go to extralife.relyonhorror.com for a very quick link to get there. Every donation is appreciated. We're trying to reach our next short-term goal, which is 425. That's just $20 away. Right now we're playing Silvio 2. Every time I like go to put in these... You, you can't type in the coordinates, you've got to find them on the map. It feels like playing uh -huh. <laughs> Enhance. There's the big poopy. I see it, yeah. <laughs> the sun's finally up. Like, up, up. Over the trees. Which means soon it won't be 30 anymore, and that'll be great. Aw, the baby's crying. 
God, you also missed me saying earlier, I could hear the baby start crying, and then I heard Maria start singing. She, Anytime he even fusses a little, she goes to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to him, but she doesn't know the words, so she can't sing it. <laughs> so she just goes, Twinkle Twinkle, you're a star, over and over. You're a star, you're a star. He's going to be fabulous when he's older. <laughs> hey, at least he'll think he is. <laughs> There's a statue. Uh, so let me know when there's like a, I guess, 30 to 45 minutes before the game is over so I can ping Thomas. Okay. I think he's awake. He did comment not too long ago. Bring a friend! This is one of those churches you, like, don't want to be part of. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can tell because the interior is just all raw wood. Welcome. I'll be back in 15 to 20 minutes. I need to walk the dog. Okay. See you then. If you please. If you don't please. to get all of the clues. William, are you there? So it's actually a really interesting way that they did it. And if you played Silvio 1, it's really intuitive because it's the exact same controls. I do remember fumbling with it a lot when I played Silvio 1 because I would press like Q and E are how you select or go back. And I would constantly be accidentally just taking myself entirely out of the game. never got out, help in circles, and death. That is a bunch of clues in one spot, which is great. Not much privacy in here. A curtain. A curtain in a sitting room, like, if somebody's taking up the toilet and you need a minute, that's okay, there's a place to sit and wait. Like, why? Um. Why? Why? 
and we're going to up the mic and lower maybe the desktop just a bit. I've got that turned all the way up. are on and off. CJ was letting me know that I am a bit quiet, so I've turned up my mic to full volume and I have turned up mic capture to full volume. If that doesn't fix it, we will um, work with a little more. This gate is locked. I wonder what's down there. might be the priest's apartment. We've got musical notes and then we've got bring a friend to descend to mend. Again, not a church you're gonna join. That sounded like a beginning of a sermon. How creepy one. I have not verified this with Nicholas, but I am fairly certain that these photos, um, it's the right number of them. I am pretty sure those are the people that were killed in Sylvia 1.
Bring a friend to descend, to mend. So we've got the stick push it once more and a question mark with is here is is here with Robin. Robin was killed in Silent Hill or uh, not Silent Hill in uh, Silvio 1. So that if you've played Silvio is a huge clue that things are terrible and that this is the church of Silvio. Which is not a church you want to join. The ending, did you see it? That's Robin's voice, and that's actually directly pulled from a uh, conversation with Robin and so on. Blacksmith, like, his only job is making these <laughs> kind of fabulous dancing stitches. That must be CJ. No! 
I mean, it's either CJ or it's a rat eating a pair of headphones. I'm not sure. Oh, it's my mopping my, mopping my fan. I mean, it's either CJ. It's very hot in the land of Oz. Ah. This is weird. I got two computers playing the stream at once. I can hear myself three times. All right. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Sorry, everybody. Give me like two seconds to. We can see to actually get out of here. Oh, it is beyond toasty. Oh, because you guys are like is... direct opposite seasons of us too. Yeah. Which is and, funny. Uh, like our summer is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I can imagine. I'm in Texas, and our summer was ridiculously hot. And now that it's like fall, edging up on winter, it's in the 30s at night, but it's in the 80s during the day. Which I'm well, not today quite was sure about salt, 80s. But... Well, today was 86 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's not even summer yet. We're two months out. Oh. Yeah, so... Yeah, <laughs> it's the worst. I wear black all the time as well, so it doesn't make it much better. Captain Walter, how is the storm coming? Over. It's so funny. Uh, we're talking to the captain of the ship that we're really? using, and she keeps arguing with well, her that the weather's just really not really foggy. bad where she's at, so she doesn't need to, like, hurry up. I'm like, Yes, a lot of black soil I would think that everywhere. I would Are you trust feeling the okay? captain. Over. Probably. Like, this isn't the right person to trust. I will. It won't I think people in video games over. are pretty stupid, though. I've actually never seen this game before. It just came out a couple of weeks ago. I have been yeah. playing it since it released because I am trying really hard. There's like this one kind of obscure puzzle that has a big accomplishment with it or achievement. And I really want to finish it, but I have been pixel hunting through this game. I have searched every square inch of it. I've got like all these sticky notes that have all the coordinates of every island and I cannot find the last item I need to do this. Shit. So what is like, what is it? Is it like a, so obviously you're trapped on islands and you have a boat that you travel around in? So in Sylvia 1, super quick version, Sylvia 1, you are a reporter who does paranormal investigation who is going to check out a, um, national park that's been closed because of a landslide that happened and you find out that it was a Native American township beforehand and the people who settled there just basically came in and slaughtered all the natives because they liked the land which cursed the land and then there's a bad guy who comes in later like just an evil human who comes in later and teams up with the bad spirit and compounds things um okay and so you're finding out his story basically the whole time. This game picks up right where that one left off. You survive being kidnapped by that dude, only to wake up and the park is completely flooded and has these islands.